America is so f***ing cooked across the board that even something as like innocuous as like the right to shit yeah, is just, like still completely relegated to the private sector. And of course they control it mm. and don't let anybody use it. What message do you want to give about public bathrooms in our country? They're dirty. Oh, the same song. There's like pee everywhere. Covered in feces. It's a rough situation. I went in like a diner. A Starbucks? A random restaurant. Nah, you can't come in here. Sorry. Customers only. I will have to buy something just to use the bathroom. It's absurd. Hi, my name's Yara, and I have a show that kind of about food. This thing is massive. Oh, okay. Whoa. Is a G Geo right duck? So why are yeah, we talking Geoduck. to people about bathrooms? Public bathrooms, public bathrooms, public bathrooms. How do you know, Geo The lack of public bathrooms is a... Um, I, I mean, not to say was, not to say you shouldn't, but I'm just. I surprised. almost was forced to eat it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what is geoduck? It's just a giant shell. It's a giant penis. That's sick. It, it is literally a cock. It also sprays like disgusting gray goo out of it. Come on. Yeah, you've never seen it. No. Gooey duck. It's a shell. Gooey it's a massive. Gooey duck. Yep. Geoduck or gooey duck? No, I think it's like it's written like oh, geoduck, geoduck but it is <gasps> it's yeah. spell it's. <laughs> said like gooey duck. <laughs> what does it taste like? Is it like mushroom taste or something? Don't pretend you don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, here. No, it's dead. It's definitely dead. Oh my Whoa! Oh my God. Where does it go in the sea? Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. I think they're in muddy. They're in muddy water and they use that. Uh, that's actually a foot, I think. Oh my God! Oh, it's like a diseased penis. It under the, the, the mud. Daddy, did I'm you really did you eat it or no? Are you sure it's dead? Oh, it like, smells like, terrible too. Oh, really? oh, yeah, there's no. I want to try it, but it doesn't look yeah, like no. if you got it mailed to you in a box, it was like it probably go off. Um, oh, it's dripping. It is. Dripping. It moves a little bit too, even though it's dead. I will not eat that. I will not eat that. Did they try? I don't think we use this one. That um, is the most disgusting. Maya can eat it. Did anybody try it? Nobody tried it. If you think I am putting this. In my mouth on stream, you are insane. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I forgot. No, because, like, she's a female content creator, so, like, they immediately, oh, yeah, like, they, they get contributes and shit, you know what yeah. I mean? What, so as if you that and happened? I, as you and I have talked about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's contributes uh, dedicated to streamers and stuff. They're very creepy. Well, you would get contributes, though, if you put that in your mouth. I, I don't know if I uh, have, I couldn't find it after Alex said there was someone who did a come tribute to him. Uh, I was like, oh, I should look it up. But it's very rare for boys. Yeah, I will not. That makes it seem like you would do it off stream, which is still alarming. I will not put that anywhere near me in any capacity, whether campers are on or off. OK, that is this. You are a bad person. You're you're a bad person for thinking. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, oh, dude, dude. <laughs> Dude, no. I have never been able to cock slap anybody in my life. I'm going to do it to Hassan. No, don't do that. <laughs> Let me hit you in the face with it once. Absolutely not. It's June. No, no. Sh <laughs> what? If you don't let her, you're homophobic. I'm literally homophobic. <laughs> I will say the F word and get banned right now. <laughs> Instead of that, I will do Should I post this? Uh, really? I will pull an Aiden Ross, okay? I'll make a comeback with steak.com. Yeah, I'll write that now. Yeah, you should definitely add qualifiers so it doesn't look yeah. like you guys are being reactionary shitheads yeah. about homeless people. Because that'll go viral and then like it'll be used for people to be yeah. like, this is why we need to start melting homeless people immediately. I changed my mind. I like him. <laughs> wow. You like him? Yeah, I want to see... I, I want to understand more. I have to pee. Uh, you, Here, there's a... Are you writing it? Oh, okay. You can write it, yeah. Oh, look, 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 it's great. Okay. Oh. Should we do that? She slapped it Whoa. and the cum came out of it. What? Yeah, look, look, what? look. You, Here, there's a... Hold him? Oh! Oh! Okay. oh. Yeah, it's dead. That's but worse it's... than our poo video. Should we do that? She slapped it and the cum <laughs> came out of it. What the <laughs> fuck? Why does that happen? Whoa. It's a cool show. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it. It's interesting because when you look at small shells, they have the same thing, but they kind of like stuck inside. Oh, them. what is she putting on it? Like, like yeah, no, no, no. She's not gonna eat that whole yeah. thing, is she? That is too I mean, much she sauce. Makes it, she makes it yeah. worse with the sauce. No, no, it's like wasabi. You what? put that level of fucking like uh, crunchy, like spicy onions and fucking 
wasabi and and sauce and oil like that is going to be edible. Oh, you can't. Porn. Oh, I'm Porn. sorry. Porn. You Porn. can't watch this? Porn. Really? You're going to walk away? So gross. You are going to subject us to that, but you can't even watch it. That's unacceptable. Maybe it maybe it erects with water. Oh, it's like such a big bite. That did not look like it was easy to eat either. No. So what, it's filled with salty oil. Ah! Ah! She's not enjoying ah! eating that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he got his that? fucking head off! Dude, this is so bad. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do Hassan, it. Hassan, you gotta slap it. No, fuck no. Have to see if it, you if slap it. If it erects water. You fucking play with animals I all the time. I can't slap this. It looks slap too the much cock. like a dick. Slap the fucking and dick. And, and let's see if it, it spurts water, squirts water everywhere. Do you understand the repercussions of me I can't handling do it. the penis part I of this? I can't do it. Like, I don't, I don't care about it, like, looking uh, like a penis or whatever. I just, like, I literally am 100 so 100% if we were off stream, I would slap the shit out of this right now. I am so physically grossed out by it. I can't even fucking, I can't even look at it. Do it. Make it bust. I will not <laughs> make it I bust. Refuse make it bust. To make this bust. Come on. on I want to see if it fucking. I want to see if it bust. squirts water out. You do it. Then hit it on the side of the fucking thing, maybe. Ew. I don't think there's anything in it. Wait, did it squirt out water? Yeah. Oh my god, it did. Oh! Oh! It's fucking coming! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Stop! 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 Okay, I was just kidding. Stop. Please don't do that. Stop. Okay. I will throw that away. I'll swear. Oh, yeah, don't put that in my fucking trash can. Um, Ooh, it's like gross and gray. Why is the water gray? Well. <laughs> I think it does. I think that it does erect with seawater. How is it? This is literally worse than when Lowey brought over stir strumming. It, this is somehow oh, we figured out the way it's worse. It's like I had to eat that too. It was nasty. It? Oh, I want to try that. I, I love fishy fish. Do anything fish. with this without it being like mm, insanely. Mm. I don't think it's a good fishy fish. No, I, I mean, really should have. The fishy fish that I, I eat, everyone hates. Why you so. need to read the fine print? No, I don't want to even see that. This is why I need to read the fine print. Where lick this off my finger. Can you stop playing? <laughs> Kill me. No, Just literally shoot me with a gun. Yeah, no, don't. That's more like. Oh, she tasted it. What does it taste? Why did you lick it? What's wrong with you? Why did you lick it? What, wait, what does it taste like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're disgusted to very like uh, intrigued very quickly. Water twenty percent cum because it doesn't just taste like seawater. It tastes like that's horrible. There's something about it that's like musky. What? It's not just seawater, and it also oh, she did try. tastes like pennies. It tastes like pennies. Iron. It's like you're metallic. Fucking that's insane, dude. Horrible. That is like disgusting. Who insane. who? Get catches this thing and thinks I'm gonna eat that. Do people do that? Is it a yeah. comment or is it just a joke? So dude, I no, 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 no. People eat it. Like I think they eat it. Do they eat it in China? That's what someone was saying in the chat. I don't know. Do they cook it though, or is it just like I don't fucking know. I imagine man. if it was cut up, I would I would yeah, definitely eat it. But just the idea of biting into that. I wanna try it. I would definitely try it. You guys are nasty. <laughs> it's a clam muscle you cook uh, it. Yeah, well that's it's uh, a foot. Or okay. well, the tongue. <laughs> Dude, it's so it's hard. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, pretty firm. <laughs> firm. Dude, I can't. I'm putting down. I can't. I can't even. Do you want to taste some of the ejaculate? No, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> Stavros is considered an aphrodisiac. Also, oh, come try? in and take a look at what we are. Uh, would you eat a fucking sea dick? Hi. Watch out! Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> that's a booby trap. Hi, I would shake your hand, but they're really nasty right now. I'm Maya. Hi, Maya. I'm Stav. <laughs> you know what that is? I've seen them. It's a gooey duck, right? Is that yeah. what it is? Have the people seen it? Yeah. Oh yeah, they've seen it. Bro, it, it's like what sprays. If I just this right now? It, yes. <laughs> He's gonna, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, uh, Stavi, Stavi Baby's gonna make an appearance tomorrow on oh. the stream. Yeah, hey, you guys are missing it. Uh, yeah, you could have stayed longer. You could have stayed. Yeah. Fucking. Hey, get yeah. fucked, dude. What an idiot. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah. Really big problem. So a lot of us end up well, that- relying on privately owned food and drink establishments for our bathroom needs. Do you guys have a bathroom in any no, no. And the public bathrooms that do exist aren't. Um, Isn't that awesome? The inside of this stall is. Ugh. Not great. Despite having the world's third largest population and the world's largest economy, the United States is all the way down here. Tied with Botswana, Poland, and a few others for having about eight public bathrooms per <gasps> 100,000 people. What oh message my. would you want to give about New York this. City's public bathroom situation? It sucks. Don't come here if you have to pass. So. <laughs> Given how much we rely on private businesses for toilets, access to their bathrooms isn't guaranteed, especially if you're not a paying customer. America, or if you don't baby. Look a certain way. Two black men sitting at a table inside this Starbucks and arrested. So why is it that America lags so far behind so much of the world when it comes to public bathrooms? And what, if anything, is being done to change that? I went deep inside America's toilets. We've inhaled a lot of urine today. <laughs> and its local governments. This represents a failure of government and a failure of... No, oh, that's good. To get to the bottom Let of this. Apparently, like, there was a massive dump that was taken. Of the top... Okay, what about... What about- Eat this with Yara as you're like talking about shit <laughs> yeah. is kind of an odd way to get started on this conversation. Well, it makes sense. He's into food. He's into largest shit. cities in America. What about malls? New York, the city I live in, ranks ninety third in terms. Of- you do have uh, toilets and malls, yes. Yeah, okay. But but like again, but if you're it's homeless, not you, you, you can't, can't go you in can't there. Go yeah. It's not that's private property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the part. Po- that's the problem. Is like in America, we have no fucking social safety nets. We have no social amenities that other normal countries actually offer so everything is like relegated to private spaces we've got the biggest flex of social amenities every single park has a barbecue in it a public and a barbecue toilet, toilet and a public barbecue Give me fucking, fucking putting shrimps on the yeah. fucking barbie <laughs> it's, a, it's a right it's a right of the yeah. Australian citizen enshrined in the fucking Aussie guns the dude is a right away. they're trying to take our fucking barbies <laughs> away mate <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, I have seen a shit happen. on a public so barbecue. Yeah, yeah, oh. hot shit. I love that game. <laughs> <laughs> not joking. It's not real. Yeah, now we know who dealt hot it. Hot shit, yeah. hot shit. <laughs> Nasty motherfucker. It prawns you reprobate. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking nice hot steamy shit on a bar. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, throw, throw another shit on the bar. Our story yeah. starts. <laughs> yeah. Headed yeah. to Washington Square Park to ask New Yorkers what they thought of their city's public bathroom situation. What is your view on New York City's public bathrooms? Uh, it sucks. <laughs> They're bad. Terrible. They're dirty. They're nasty. They're absolutely... So I want you to say, Turkey has one for 100,000. Yeah, bro, it's an infinitely poorer country. Like, yeah. what do you mean? That's not the flex you think it is. This is America, the wealthiest nation on yeah. the planet, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, no shit, dude. That's crazy. Dude, you know in Liberia, there's only one public <laughs> bathroom for 100,000 people? And, like, some of the areas don't have fucking working sewage systems? It's like, wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah, America, better in comparison. Disgusting. I think they're gross and will try to hold it for as long as I can until I reach a point of like, oh God, I'm going to die. Do you think there's enough of them? What about no. train stations? Not enough of them. Quantity of- Nasty as a motherfucker. Unusable. Really? Yeah. New York has at least that, but like even then it is fucking awful, dude. Absolutely fucking unacceptably bad. Well. <sighs> yes. You see some impressive stuff in public toilets. I don't think there's like enough. Way too few. Practically ways. non-existent. There's not a lot of like actual functioning, like safe, usable public restrooms. And the ones that do exist are usually really dirty. What are you up to? Uh, we're making a documentary about public bathrooms in New York. I think that they should be kept very clean so they don't catch any dangerous diseases. So true. Excellent point. There's a lack of, um, lack of thought to those with disabilities. Yeah. It's not very accessible to those in need. I've been homeless, you know, on and off since 2014. Have you ever been denied access to a public bathroom Dude's in New York City? Hot. I've been shirtless and sockless for the past week or two now. You know, and <laughs> no shirt, no shoes, <laughs> no service. What's your go-to bathroom? Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> showing, yeah, Starbucks. I'll probably try to find a Starbucks. McDonald's. I'm gonna look for <clears throat> fools. Everyone knows if you're in a fucking in a pinch, okay. If you're in a bind, let's say you need to take a shit, okay. I'll tell you what, hotels undefeated, okay. Hotels always have clean bathrooms in the lobby, 
If you need the fucking, if you, oh God, why am I revealing this information? There's gotta look like you're meant to be thousand people. No, no, they'll even. They don't fucking know any better. You could just like walk in if you have the the pizzazz, if you have the charisma, yep. and just walk straight to the fucking reception and go, "Hey, um, where's the where's the bathroom in the lobby?" Mm. Uh, they will they will point you in that direction. Yeah. You got to not be homeless though. Yeah, that's it. You got to yeah. be dressed slightly nice. Oh fuck! I shouldn't have said that. Some hotels have keypads and they won't let you use them without buying. I find the barbershop one hilarious. You're gonna get a haircut in order to poo. Yeah, it's great. Maybe they can do it on the toilet seat. <laughs> For a barbershop or a salon. Have yeah, you, you can also get free drinks in the hotel too, usually. Like coffee, tea, maybe like a, a bagel or whatever. Ever had on the hotel. a public bathroom horror story? I remember like New Year's Eve. I was in Central Park. I was like on the subway. I really had to go. <laughs> Could not find the bathroom. Any. And I needed really to use the bathroom. And you know how hard it is like to get after midnight. What did you do? I was like, ah. I came off the subway and I'm like, okay, the first restaurant, I'm just going to go in. They're like, nope, uh, you got to pay. Go to another one, same thing. I go to stores, cafes, and no one would let me in. I ended up going to the bathroom on the street, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of us, that's something that people don't talk about. If there are no bathrooms and it's after a certain hour, what do you do? I mean, access to bathrooms should be like readily available and a right to everyone. I wish that we could kind of follow what Europe does and get some paid bathrooms. America is so fucking cooked across the board that even something as like innocuous as like the right to shit yeah, is just... like still completely relegated to the private sector. And of course they control it mm. and don't let anybody use it. You guys do no have some drinking fountains. Like, no though, one don't cares. You? And I think it is have ultimately- Have I seen those around? Or am I thinking of when I'm inside of a We venue? have drinking fountains on like, not like super public. I mean- we have drinking fountains in like parks and stuff. Okay. The only one I've seen was that picture of the segregated one. No, <laughs> no. Our, okay. Our drinking fountains are no longer <laughs> segregated. Okay. Uh, they have them in parks though. Criminalized yeah, porn on house people. people. The United uh, States public bathroom no, no, system actually, is no. kind of helter skelter because it's not 24 hours, because it's not really ran very well as far as, you know, Wise, you know what I mean? Like they're doing what they can. To the mayor and to the authorities, it's not civilized. It's not civilized not to have bathrooms around accessible to the people. So what's the deal with New York? In my research, I came across this report. New York City has only about 1,100 publicly accessible bathrooms. That means for the 8.5 million official residents of New York, there's only one bathroom for every 7,700 New Yorkers. And even the 1,100 bathrooms that do exist in the city- That's an incredibly high number for the rest of America. Yeah. California's probably worse. Sometimes look like this. There was human fecal matter that's on top fine. of the toilet seat. Yeah, that's what our public was like. Or well. this. Holy God. Yeah. Okay. It is filled yeah. with many things that should not be in a toilet. Well. I guess those should be in a toilet, but... Good God, it's generally not a pretty sight. So we've happened upon an automated public toilet. Uh, oh, you have to pay to go oh, in. That's so far. Very, very strong. This so we've got ones like this as well. They're free. They're free, a lot of them. Um, it looks really nice on the outside, but the smell is putrid. I should say, though, there are some good ones. There's even a TikToker who keeps track of them. The lack of accessible, ah, sanitary, and public bathrooms in New York City has just become an unspoken truth, but we need to start talking about it. My favorite is the one at Bryant Park. Well, this is the first bathroom we have had to wait in a line for. But that may be because it's managed by a private company. That is by far one yeah. of the most amazing public bathrooms I have ever experienced. How do they make money? It felt like a hotel bathroom. The they have the little plastic in? cover on the toilet seat oh, that like God. articulates. It Whoa. is the pinnacle of human excrement release. Still, no matter our best how you ones cut are the automated it, ones to play music for behind. you. Ooh. And we're not even taking into yeah. account thousands of taxi drivers and Asia delivery and people who rarely have yeah, a dependable like, option. The lack the days of and things. public bathrooms is very hard for us, you know? Right. You don't find any bathrooms. So no place yeah, they're all squat toilets. They're all squat toilets. They're all squat toilets. I go one. They're all squat, they're all squat toilets. toilets. Oh, dude, no way. No, no, no. Dude, no, I had I had the worst squat toilet. I'm literally triggered. Like, you just activated Turkish memory. Memories, dude. Can I tell you my horrible experience? Like, no, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute, but it was squat like are the probably the most embarrassing worst. thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Okay, let's oh, hear not that it. one. I was thinking about another one. Well, I, I was like, I. What do you we, keep track of? His shits, dude. How do you know? <laughs> no, there was those shit experiences. No, no, no. I'll, t I'll tell this one. Yeah. Uh, we um we got off the plane and like 
we were walking around looking for our hostel and I, we couldn't find it. In it, China? Oh, I don't know. In China. Way. And it had been like 36 hours of not sleeping. So I found like just a public toilet and I went in and there was no separation between the squat toilet. So it was like a public squat toilet and everyone else was just shitting. What? So I was like, I have no choice. So I like started squatting and I started like pooing. And as I was doing that, this, this old man walks in smoking a cigarette and he doesn't poo. He just stands in front of me, <laughs> just smoking looking at my eyes and then just looking straight down and then looking back up and straight down. And he stood there for like five minutes as I was shitting. And I was like fully red. And I was like, I can't look this man in the eyes. I'm shitting. And then I started to like freeze up and I was having like an out of body experience. It was horrible. It was so bad. I felt like, I felt- I thought it was, was, was kind of cute. No, it wasn't cute at all. It was so bad. I was, like, I was like, this man's just what? watching me shit. Why it was he, so horrible. Why did he do that? I don't I think know. It's, I think it's, you're a giant white dude. In a place. I'm a giant white dude there. We were the only yeah. white people there. And I was just like, I I was just like, it, it was almost so traumatizing that it like released me from the boundaries <laughs> of like shitting in public. It was so bad. It was like, this has happened. That's all, it's it. Oh, it was amazing. You can't stop. You can't <laughs> stop. No. Already. He was like, I'm just going to watch. I'm going to watch. What's that guy been eating? Oh, <laughs> like, that's so bad. Oh my God. I just like, yeah, I would- I was I would eat next to you, but he didn't stop to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> he picked you. I was Wait, jealous. You're mad. Yeah. Why do you look at my shit? <laughs> That's not fair. You always get all the attention. <laughs> 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 So oh, that's plus one victim of communism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put you it's, on the wall, dude. <laughs> it's, it's our poo. Uh, oh, no. Uh, There's too much poo talk. He was a spotter in case you were going to fall over. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this guy does not know how to squat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, you can't pinch it at that point. You just got to commit. Yeah. I love squat toilets. I. No, no, you don't. Because I find no. it's, it's just so much less gross. You have, you, you're less contact. No with, shot. With Doesn't services. squat over the regular one if you want to do that. No, there, there yeah. are signs in Australia that says no squatting on the regular toilet. Wait, don't put your feet on the fucking uh, toilet. Yeah, but you, you can still oh, you like, can watch them up. Yeah, yeah. I guess you can. Yeah, what? Like, no, no I contact. Can, I want to say why I really like it, but it's just a bit too gross. Oh, <laughs> grosser than his story? I doubt it. Go ahead. You get, like, the best view of your own shit. Like, ah, yeah. You get to see every part of it, like, how it, like its structure, it's like how solid it is. Like you never get to see shit from that angle. And like, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm curious to know. Cause like, I'm it's so like, glad you guys are leaving tonight. I take back <laughs> everything I said, dude. Aren't you, aren't you curious though? Like what if there's no, something, something wrong in your bowels and you want to like get to the bottom of it? You, I document all my no. poos. Like, <laughs> you document all your poos? In my head, yeah. I'm like, okay, that's what that one was like. That's probably- That's like the worst, dude. You're there's something way wrong. too much information. There's it's... something wrong with you, dude. He said, every poop tells a story. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what, are they agreeing? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Are people agreeing or people are just- The, the reality every, is, the real every, every person goes, oh my God, it's better for your bowel movement. Like, it's true. Yes, that's why mm. there's squatty potties like where you can like kick your legs up. But- Ultimately, it is so fucking unimaginably like the Turkish, the Turkish whole uh, shitters were so nasty. Mm. Yeah, oh, it's got pretty, them, it gets pretty bad. Yeah. And I hated People like miss. trying to aim too. Like it was just, yeah. you know, <laughs> oh God. It's a good workout though. No, really? it's awful. Oh, I had the craziest. No, 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 I just oh. want to stop talking about poo. No, it's just okay. cool. I, um, well, let's finish this. Let's finish this. They give me big gig for one hundred and fifty dollars. Four hundred dollar ticket. Yeah. And on top of that, there's nearly fifty thousand homeless people in New York who have no place to go, especially when the few public bathrooms that do exist close after dark. Bathrooms are tied to a basic biological human function in all of us. So why are they so sorely lacking in America? I reached out to a ton of experts to try to get to the bottom of this. He did it in the video intro that we shot this morning. Stop. I, I, I document all my poos. <laughs> this can't just be your bit doing a funny face to the camera. <laughs> Well, you guys don't document your poos? I don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something's it's like, so, wrong with you guys. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Funny.
funny. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Do you reckon I can just do streaming just like this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop doing stop, it. Stop, 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 okay. stop, stop. We're moving I can't on. Take you seriously. But also, if you're going to oh, lose the, the yeah, joke. Yeah, you gotta... Here's what I learned. Until the 1800s, most bathrooms in the world <laughs> were actually public shitter. or at least shared. <laughs> Private bathrooms like a were constable. really a luxury that only rich people could afford. And by bathroom, we're talking like a job. Like a Rin Tin Tin novel constable. You know what I mean? Constable Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> it's, it's me, <laughs> the constable. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. But. Outhouses. Working class people in New York often shared one outhouse with a couple dozen neighbors. Of course, this lack of bathrooms also meant public urination. This is when some cities began installing public urinals intended for the men. As people started seeing the distinction between like human waste and diseases yeah. like cholera and typhoid, more public bathrooms just made sense. Bar bathrooms were also a thing back then. But for anti-alcohol activists who were part of the temperance mm. movement, public bathrooms meant fewer men drinking and peeing in bars. And as the government moved to ban the public consumption Whoa, and sale of cool. alcohol in the 20s, U.S. Crazy cities rushed to suppose, even just give it to more me. public bathrooms. <laughs> but things took a dramatic kind of fun, turn though, in the 60s I mean. and 70s. In New York, the city's government nearly went bankrupt, so it enacted harsh budget cuts, specifically targeting public services. Public bathrooms cost a lot of money to maintain, so many were just shut down. And this became a trend throughout the country. In the South, public bathrooms were twice as expensive, since Jim Crow laws had mandated separate but equal facilities. Oh, so they had to make for double the amount just of the, money. Yeah, just <laughs> once again, dude, white supremacy, major L, okay, for every reason, including like. Like these guys were so racist that like they they had to spend, spend more money and yeah. they were willing to do it. Yeah, they're like, nah, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> and black Americans in big cities, public opinion had shifted against public bathrooms due to stories about crime, vandalism, <laughs> drug use, Someone just and sexual shit encounters and taking place inside. And that's when you began to see the private sector filling in where the public sector was not providing for the public. Wait, is that why Tex? Oh my God! What? Someone in the chat said Texas actually has three. Uh, public bathrooms per 100,000 people versus California has one public bathroom per uh, 100,000 people. So I guess that's the reason why Texas has more public bathrooms in California now because they had doubled the number of fucking public bathrooms yeah. because they had segregated bathrooms. Wow. Oh my God. Tec okay, that's a W for racism there. Okay, yeah, gotta, yeah. gotta admit. <laughs> they you know, didn't mean to. But they had us maybe. in the first half. Yeah. I thought like, lol, what a bunch of idiots, but now they have more fucking bathrooms. <laughs> Yeah, rare racism W, dude. Very <laughs> incredibly, unimaginably rare. <laughs> and we see a wave of privatization and the elimination of a lot of government-provided services during Ronald Reagan's presidency, right? There's a large, long-term <laughs> public movement toward uh, dialing back public services. So you were soon left with privately owned department stores, food and drink establishments, and gas stations providing this public service. But privatizing bathrooms means you really only serve certain people there's also a, a class dimension to this there's a judgment being made by the business owner about whether you deserve to use mm. the bathroom and what about the paid public bathrooms that we used to have in the 70s europe has a lot of those yeah Get i've seen them in europe in 1970 there were actually over 50,000 coin operated bathrooms wow. in the u.s 10 years later, they almost all disappeared. <laughs> Why take them away? What Just happened? take away the But they were pay restrooms. Well, you had to pay to use the stalls, but you didn't yeah, have to pay to use the urinals. In the <laughs> 70s, the, a sort of growing feminist awareness led people to see this as very sexist. There was a, a feminist movement called the Committee to End... What? Sorry, so they, Why was that? So they literally were like, all right, fuck it. We're taking it all away instead of making <laughs> yeah. it free? What the fuck? No, it's just... Weird. What happened? I don't, I don't know. know. It was like a weird Dust. thing of lint flying slowly. Pay toilets. That yeah, that is weird. Like, no. In having protests and having changing them, no one gets laws them. in order to end pay toilets to make restrooms free for everybody. But that turned public restrooms just into a really high cost for a city. A the unintended for... consequence mm. of that was public restrooms basically began to disappear for everybody. Are they and really that US expensive to run? Yeah, yeah, toilets are still just illegal. Just the cleaning? <laughs> yeah, the cleaning. And so it's like real estate. Like it's in 2022. Yeah. I thought to myself, thing, for such a massive area. problem, is New York doing anything? The answer is yes. Well, yeah, sort they're of. Like, also, uh, in 1990, a group of I don't know if you know this, but we're like, we have police departments that are like the cost of the entire Australian military. Yeah. So <laughs> we got a lot of we got a lot of money that we need to spend yeah. on that instead. The you US know, police department is the third um, 
biggest army in the world in terms of funding. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, they have the US have a, Army. They have a submarine. <laughs> Whoa. The NYPD has a submarine. For what? Where's um, the, where's like the, where's the lake there? Attacks oh, to be fair, I did mug someone at the bottom of the ocean once. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we were, it was really bad. It's a we, classic Australia moment, yeah. dude. I was, I was spear fishing, so I had this spear gun. Yeah. And I saw this big gray fish. I was like, oh, this is so sick. And I kind of went back. And you have to kind of dive down behind them and kind of sneak up to them. And the closer I got, I noticed it was someone's scuba tank. And just three guys turn around and I'm just there about to kill them. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. Would you would you rob them uh, just a G shock? Yeah. They're dead now. That's yeah. murder. submarine would have stopped you though. Yeah. Homeless people filed a well, lawsuit against New York City Australia over for limited public bathrooms. Yeah, the communism. lawsuit drew a lot of attention. In 1992, the city moved to install six sidewalk toilets with plans to order another 100. Oh. But then it all got bogged down Did by the turned into like a stall. There it is, by the way. Anyone know what's happening? The one public toilet we have in downtown oh LA. Oh, my God. What are they doing to it? I don't know. I guess they're taking it out. It's done. It looks like a food truck now. Interests. In 2006, the city finally ordered 20 automated public toilets, APTs. But for some reason, only five were installed. This is an example of government incompetence. It's such an easy thing to do, to make your streets so much nicer. That's Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine. He's teamed up with city council. Oh, I was wrong. NYPD has six submarines. Okay. Member <laughs> Rita Joseph to pass a bill requiring these two agencies to carry out a study. That study would identify one location in each New York City zip code where they build a brand new public bathroom. Whichever party you belong to, using the bathroom doesn't have any political affiliation. But we are going to force this issue onto the agenda with this legislation. It's like a hard issue to get behind, too, because, like, you just look like you have IBS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? You shit a lot. They're like, yeah. damn, bro. Like, yeah, what, what's up? Food. You got IBS, dog? Yeah, like, you so have to shit uh, in public all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, you don't want to admit it. So sad. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't shit ever. It's like, it's like, who's going to be the brave Japanese politician that says we need to uncensor the dicks? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, it makes the most sense and it yeah. would be, have a lot of public support, but like, no one wants to be the guy. Yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah, going to yeah. be like, oh, you want to see the fucking dicks and pussies, dude? Like, Con, you, dedicate, you, have, gay. you have to dedicate your life to that one cause. Yeah. You are not a New Yorker if you haven't been caught out there, not able to find a bathroom. He, Other no, cities around good, the country and world work. have figured this out. It's not that complicated. It's a human rights no. issue. I've lived abroad and studied abroad, and there's always been public bathrooms whenever I go to these European cities. We need to do the same model. And then we headed inside for a city council hearing. This is like the staircase at the Titanic. <laughs> Not the most exciting thing, but as I sat there, it was clear that everyone agreed this was an important issue. So how does New York and the U.S. at large dig itself out of this problem? Well, obviously building more bathrooms is one answer. Yes, they're pricey. One estimate holds that each new traditional public bathroom could cost New York as much as $5 million. That much. But there's also cheaper high-tech options that New are York real estate. Portland Lou. Oh, so that's why Portland it's the Lou. land Portland that's more Oregon important than the actual one. plumbing. Portland Loo is a street-side bathroom you can place anywhere. It's got an open air. They have these in Amsterdam too. To prevent people from identifying so their veins, we've actually which, got these ones well, in Sydney, yeah. which are completely are portable. Like a, what? They're, they're portable ones, but they're like, they you can, eight guys can piss at once all next to each other. So you can, it's a really high turnover rate. Mm. They, they just mm. bring them out when people are going clubbing so people don't uh, piss uh. on the streets. Yeah, see, they put blue light in there so they fucking stop you from doing heroin in there the too. The sort of private public ruin partnership everything. that some yeah. European cities have, where they pay private businesses in exchange for them opening their bathrooms up to the public. But relying on the private sector means you can't guarantee this basic service to every single person. Today I went to about like 25 different businesses, mostly restaurants. Hi. Do you guys have a bathroom? You guys have a bathroom? You guys have a bathroom? For the most part, they let me in to use I their bathroom. Let you use it. Amazing, thank you. But there is something that was happening which kind of threw me off a little bit, which was that every time I asked them if I could use their bathroom, they would kind of take a little moment to like look at me and then assess whether I'm like worthy. And that got really? me thinking about like if I What does blue light do to heroin? Bro, it's pretty explanatory. They already mentioned it in the video. Stop you can't identify video, your right? veins. I did not look the way I did, if I didn't talk the way I did, if I didn't dress the way that I did, if my skin color was different. These sorts of things may have had an impact on their decision. Right, what have you never done heroin before? The what the fuck? The whole point of having public <laughs> services is to what an L, dude. Come on, live a little. 
can oh, use okay. that service. We're just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He means live a little, <laughs> like, uh, by not, not doing heroin. Uh, yeah. just he means live a little, like, uh, you know, spend $5 not on heroin, but on a subscription so you don't see the top of the hour ad break. That's what I meant. You know what I mean? That's what he meant, actually. Because at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account or by getting gifted a sub. Can't get heroin for only five bucks. <laughs> you could get a very small amount. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, here's the three minute ad break now. For most people, it has to work for everyone. What do people who are critical of this move? I can't imagine who would not want There is one there. narrative out there. Please tell me. <laughs> which is that this will attract homeless people. I can oh, really reject that. It's if not, someone is on yeah. housing in the street, if they have no facility, they're going to go in the open, which no one wants. And therefore, we're charging forward for the good of everybody. It's because people hey don't guys, want to have to interact with so, homeless yeah, people. Yeah. So they're just like, we don't want to be in the same place. They can stay in the street They corner. literally don't want to like shit in the same toilet a homeless person shit. <sighs> yeah. Like, which at, is crazy. At least when they were racist, they were building just other toilets. If you had like a non-homeless toilet and a homeless toilet. It would at least create toilets. Yeah. It's great. I mean, Americans do fucking absolutely despise homeless people, so. But I also think Americans don't shit very much.